guys! So as I'm sure you can tell by the title, today's video is really exciting because it's a haul and I feel like I haven't done a haul in a long time and it definitely shows with the amount of stuff that I have, so it's definitely going to be long. I recommend grabbing a snack or something because I've tried to film this twice already and each time it was 30 minutes long. Yeah, I said 30 minutes. So I recommend grabbing a snack or something because you're gonna be here a while if you watch the whole thing. I guess I'll start off with H&M because I only got one thing there and it's a towel. Weird, I know, but I just had to get it because look at the pattern on it. Is it not the most adorable thing you have ever seen? I have been full on obsessed with like the palm pattern that's been going on lately. I've been seeing it a ton on Instagram and Tumblr and I just had to pick up something in that pattern and after I picked up this, Ooh, it's very dark right now. There we go. I got a um, pillow, as you can see back there, maybe from Society6, that is in kind of like a similar pattern, but I've just really been liking the palm pattern, you know? The next thing you guys have probably already seen if you add me on Snapchat. My username is MissMellian14 if you want to add me. Feel free because I try and update on Snapchat as much as I possibly can. But anyways, um, on my story, at one point I had a new watch that I got and all of you asked for a haul on my Apple Watch, which I thought was hilarious because it's not actually an Apple Watch and now that I look at it, I kind of realize that it does resemble an Apple Watch. So this is what it looks like. It has a white band, a very thick white band, as you can see. And then the face of the watch is a mirror, which I really like because it's very handy. You know, you can kind of just check up on yourself throughout the day. And I love that about it. It's very different. And um, when you just click the button right here, it tells the time. I don't know if you guys can see it just because of the glare, but it's very simple and chic looking, I think, and everyone thinks it's an Apple Watch, but it's not. You guys are probably wondering where this watch is from, and it's from the brand OneFaceWatch.com, or OneFace.com. And they actually did send this to me, but um, I wanted to share it with you guys because it's an amazing company. It's kind of similar to Tom's. If you know how Tom's, whenever someone buys a pair of shoes, they give a pair of shoes to someone in need. This is kind of similar to that. So my watch, as I'm sure you could tell, was the white banded one, and that is for hunger. So for every watch sold that's white, they donate a meal to someone in need. But that's not the only watches they have. They have a black one for cancer, they have a blue one for the environment, um, an orange one for education, a water one that is yellow, a pink breast cancer one, they have an animals one, a red cross one, and they have so many new ones on their website since they made this box. So I definitely recommend that you guys go check it out. When I actually was like contacted by them and I looked on their website, I teared up a little bit because of how great of a company it is. I think that the best part about it is that the watches are actually really cute. So you could either just buy a watch based on the color that you want and it'll go towards something good, or you could buy a watch based on the cause if you have a special connection to one of them and you want to support the cause. So I think it's a great website and that's the reason why I agreed to work with them and you guys should all go check it out. They were nice enough to give us a discount code. The discount code is MOLLY10. I will also have it in the description box down below along with a link to the website. Highly recommend you guys go check it out. I've been wearing this watch a ton lately and I love it. Next up is Forever 21, which I just got four shirts from there. I don't think I've ever bought a pair of bottoms from Forever 21. I don't know why. That's very random that I'm sharing that with you, but that just occurred to me that I don't own a pair of like bottoms from Forever 21. Like a skirt, nothing. Wow. Okay, anyways, um, the first top I got is this taupe one, and it's a little bit cropped, not overly cropped though, and it's like this taupe color, and the sleeves are rolled up a little bit, and I just thought it was very simple and would go with a lot of things, and I liked the color. I don't own anything in this color. The next one I got is very sporty, that trend that's going on right now. Um, it's in this pretty blue color, and then the sleeves have a stripe detailing on them, and this is only... $10 I want to say so I feel like that's a really good price for a shirt like this It's so soft too. It feels like Brandy Melville soft. Next up I got an off-the-shoulder top which I have been loving lately I've been seeing these all over tumblr and Instagram with all the fashion bloggers that I follow and I just love the look of these so much So I picked up this one and it's black and white stripes, which I think is so classic 
and I'm very excited to style this and I think it'll be a staple of mine this summer. Then the last top I have to show you guys, I'm not sure if I've already shown this in a haul video, but if I have, oh well, it's here again. Um, it is this black and white polka dot shirt and it's very structured. It feels like something that would be from Topshop rather than from Forever 21. I feel as though Forever 21 has definitely been stepping up their quality game lately. So yeah, I really liked this. Obviously, I bought it. Then from Airy, I got two t-shirts, and these are the best tee, that's what they're called from Airy, and they're basically just v-necks. Um, I needed some shirts to work out in, so I figured these would be comfortable and stuff, so I got this bright blue one, and then I also got one in this maroon color as you can see so yeah just very basic comfortable tops now moving on to francesca's i saw two bags in there that i just needed to have you guys have already seen this one which it was in my most previous video if you have not seen that i'll have it linked down below it was a what's in my purse video but yes this is the bag and if you want more details on it you can go check out my what's in my purse video <laughs> the other bag that i got i'm not sure if i'm going to do a video with this bag or not you guys can leave a comment down below if you think I should but it is this bag and it's going to be my beach bag and pool bag this summer I thought it was very beachy looking and I liked the color because it's like an off gray kind of tan color I just thought it was different and I really liked all of the detailing on it how much was this this was $64, so yeah, it was kind of pricey, but I figured it would last me the whole summer and I didn't have a beach bag, and I feel like moving to Los Angeles, you need to have a beach bag because you're at the beach all the time, so that's how I justified this purchase. <laughs> Next up is my favorite store of all time, Target. You guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I go to Target like three times a day. It's getting really, really bad, so... Yeah, I love Target. So the first thing I got is a pair of shoes, which I haven't gotten a chance to wear yet, but I'm very excited to. They're by the brand Morona, and this is what they look like. They are a navy and white pinstripe with a pointed toe on them, and I just really liked them. And I thought that they were not, like, Target looking. Like, they look like something from Topshop. I keep making that reference, but Topshop's really expensive, so this was a good, like, dupe, I feel like. Of course the leaf blower starts. What would be a video without the lawnmower or the leaf blower? I'm back. The leaf blower is off now. <laughs> Next thing that I got from Target is a refill of my favorite, like, leave-in conditioner kind of thing. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. If you guys haven't tried this, before I totally recommend it because it makes my hair feel so soft and my hair normally isn't that soft and this just does the trick so yeah I recommend it it's a little bit expensive but I think it's worth it Got a new nail polish from Essie this is from their newest collection I believe and it's in the shade blossom dandy I'm wearing it on my nails right now but they're kind of chipped so let's not focus too much on that but I think it's just a really pretty kind of Tiffany blue color that's what it reminded me of and I don't own anything like this, so I had to have it. I got a new water bottle. Um, this is the Contigo water bottle. This is what it looks like. It was on sale for $10, so of course me being an impulse buyer had to get it. Um, I have way too many water bottles as it is, but I mean, I couldn't resist buying one more. Why not add to the collection, right? Then I got a new candle, and I just bought this basically because I liked the packaging on it, but it actually smells really good. It's in the scent pretty in pink and I really like the packaging as I said it's very like nice <laughs> so yeah they had a ton of different scents in these and they all smelled really good but I wanted the pink colored one so I got this one <laughs> so that is everything from Target now we're going to go into stuff I got from Anthropology first thing I got is this really cute little container that looks like what you pick strawberries in or like berries I don't know it just reminded me of summer so I got this also from Anthropology, I got my new favorite perfume it's in the scent time to wander this is what the packaging on it looks like I've been wearing this for the past like two weeks and every single day I get a new person that compliments me on how it smells so I totally recommend you guys go check this out it was only $28 which I feel like is a really good price for this amount of perfume 
It's a very mature scent and I really have been loving it. <laughs> Last thing I got is a new planner, which I don't know if this excites you guys as much as it excites me because I'm a sucker for planners, but um, I just got another one. My mom told me that I have way too many and I was like, yeah, I know, and I still bought it because I am a sucker for a good planner and this was a good planner. It has daily stuff as well as monthly stuff and I'm so excited to start planning out videos in this all summer long. It's gonna be great. <laughs> also, um, Jessica Chu from First Day Beauty sent me a little package with a bunch of stuff from First Day Beauty, so thank you, Jessica. I'm gonna show a lot of those products in an upcoming video of mine, but I wanted to show you guys the other things that she sent me because I really like them. So the first one is this hat, which I'm not sure if I can pull these off. I really don't think I can. I'm kind of afraid to put it on because I have, like, the bun going on right now, but, um... Yeah, this is what they <laughs> look like on. I just feel like I look like I'm in a safari or something. But I don't know, it'll be good for the beach, I think, to cover up my face and everything. So thank you, Jessica Chu, because I've been wanting one of these for so long. And it's from J. Crew, if you're wondering. But yeah, <laughs> I feel like I kind of look like Pharrell Williams. All right, let me take this off now. Do you have any tips on how, you know, I could wear this that would make me not look like a safari hunter then? Let me know. Okay guys, so that is everything for my haul video. I think I did a pretty good job of shrinking this one down and not having it be as obnoxiously long as the other ones have been. Let me know if you guys want to see more hauls in the future because I could definitely do like a summer clothing strictly haul very soon. But yeah, this is like a very random haul and the lighting is so dark right now. Okay, um, love cloudy days for filming. It's getting brighter, I can feel it. Getting darker, where's the sun? Why is it so dark out? So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Tumblr, YouTube, <laughs> make sure you subscribe if you're not already. I have the whole summer, I am now on summer break. I'm so excited if you couldn't tell, but um, yeah, I'm now on summer break, so make sure to leave any video requests that you have down below. And I don't have anything else to say, I'm rambling. So I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.